All right, small interruption from our scheduled programming. Tournament video is gonna be right after this little update and little intro. Reason I'm hopping in right here for an intro is we're giving away some beats. The brother, Christopher, has been so kind to donate a bunch of, I can't even see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll give you one of these. <sighs> but anyway, he's donating all those baits to give away for you guys. I haven't had to get away, get away. I haven't had a giveaway in uh, several videos. Kind of got sidetracked a little, but anyway, he is giving away all these baits. So that's a big old shout out to Christopher. And hopefully we'll be able to do a giveaway and a challenge together in a video soon. As in, I'm going to force him to come out here. Out in the backyard. And I'll beat him up and then I'll make him go fish here. Anyway, <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know where I need to improve. Whether it's my fishing skills, video skills, whatever you want. Just let me know. And we will see you guys at the end of the video for a little outro. And remember, it's giveaway time. So like, subscribe, comment, if you will. Comment a little thank you to the brother. Comment on the fact that you want to see him get out here with me. And that's all you need to do to be entered to win. As usual, the giveaway will run for four days and we will pick a winner at random via a YouTube random comment selector. And that's it. We'll see you guys on the water next. And remember, big baits, big bites, big luck. See you in a minute. Just a quick little surprise peek at these baits here. He's giving you guys Mondo Worms. He's giving you guys Strike King Jigs, which this one in particular, I all year, all year fish. Diesel Jig, Okeechobee Craw, a Thick Jig. These little white guys, this is something he uses, but I don't a whole lot. Some stickies for those worms. A little Death Stalker action there. We got a couple of packs of Z-Man. Ned Rig up here in the fall and the winter all day, baby. But that's a wrap up of the baits. We'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super excited because we are by ourselves on the chain lakes for the last tournament of the year. If you can't hear my voice, if you can't hear in my face, if you can't see in my voice, we are so excited. I say we, but that is a sad sight right there. Though. No brother, he got sick, couldn't make it. But I am still super excited to see what I can do against these big bass boats and against these people that have been fishing these lakes just as long, if not longer than I have. And I am just super excited. What we're gonna do is I'm in the canal. Don't, don't really fish that a whole lot, but we're gonna set you guys up for a minute. We're gonna kind of poke a little bit as we go. But all right, I'm gonna throw a couple casts. We'll set you guys up here in a minute, but it's gonna be a long day. This might be a two part video. We'll see how it goes, but I'm really hoping we can get some crazy stuff going here. So stick with me guys, last big tournament of the year. Super excited, let's see what we can do. Let's get some big fish on cam for you guys and for the tournament guys. I wanna be able to show off a nice blow up or something, just a great catch. So let's try our, our darndest. But all right, that's it for the intro everybody. Join me, I'm so glad that you're here and let's try to win this tournament. Five biggest bass, 6 a.m., 4 p.m. is the weigh in. Um, and that's it. Man, I can't believe I'm out here by myself. Uh, this is so weird. So weird. But all right, guys, we'll be right back. Don't know how much time I'm going to spend right here. I definitely have places that I want to be otherwise. So just going to be a quick run through this. And I'm already not quite seeing what I want to see. Got some really thick grown up stuff up here. Might be good. Kitch, kitch, kitch. We're gonna get you guys cut off here first. I go get this beautiful morning out here. It is absolutely fantastic. Supposed to be 88 with a little bit of clouds, so nothing crazy, which will be nice. But we didn't see what we wanted to see right there. 
trying to clean the toy motor off a little bit. And we're gonna actually move out onto the main lake out here to our next spot. This first spot wasn't quite promising coming in, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time here. But we are getting, oh, my eyes are tired. I didn't get enough sleep last night, apparently. All right, but we're gonna get to this next spot. We'll be two seconds. Two seconds of that. It's a split second, really. Take a moment to appreciate all this. This is the first place I ever really caught like big fish. Probably one of the coolest places that we have up here available. And I'm out here by myself. It's really weird. Never been in a boat solo out here. If it's if we're going out here, grandpa's going, you know. So I'm just gonna kinda slow down here for a second and look around. Cause it is just freaking gorgeous out here. I mean, it really doesn't get much better. I mean, look at that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and kick this off for a second and get adjusted, get my eyes open, get a little bit of a drink, and I'll be right back. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. All right, everybody, no updates with no fish. But we're going to work some different spots here with some different stuff. I've been trying to get the top water going this morning. Couldn't quite get it, but I'm going to jig around and stuff these logs right here. Might throw a wheatless Cinco on and work around this point. There's a dock, so jig on the dock. Might at least get a confidence fish. I had a tiny tap a second ago, which was great because it's so pretty darn early. So we're going to go ahead and maybe shed the jacket. Throw on my sunglasses so I can see in the water and try to catch fish. I'm gonna set you guys up, so. All right, party people, we're moving. I'm gonna take these glasses off, put my sunglasses on, try to find a fish. We're gonna make a couple moves here, a couple quick checkouts of two different spots. Let's go. All right guys, we got our first update. We got a fish, just a little guy, just a little guy. One pound is what we're gonna call her. Nice, healthy fish. Let's get her a weight on here. 12 inches, our first fish weighing. Ooh, feisty, come on, chill, 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 settle. Just under a pound so that's not even really a scoreable fish so we'll keep that one on record but we're gonna fish this bank up a little bit more so I'm gonna keep you guys rolling for a few wow, let's do this There's actually a lot more timber and wood to fish on that side. So I'm probably gonna just zip over there real quick. Turn you guys off for a sec and I'll be right back.
Not bad. Alright. Christopher's last piece of advice before the tournament. And I haven't done it yet. I've got the setup for it. We're gonna throw a weightless Cinco. Dun, dun, dun. First, we're gonna get that part of that rage bug out of there. Then we're gonna go like this. Regular, weightless. Only thing different going on is I have a screw-in hook. And to be perfectly honest, I don't know why. There we go, there's that rigged up. <laughs> All right, guys, we got an update. Ha! Beautiful fish here. We're gonna get a weight on her real quick and get her back in the water so I can get my phone turned off. I brought the wrong cord, so might not see any of this, but here we go. Chill, 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 chill. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. Just a beautiful fish. <sighs> that felt good. Let's get it. All right, everybody. We found a cord. That means we can re keep recording. Found a cord to keep record. So, we're going to keep doing that. I can't see my screen very well. Give you guys a little dust off there. I think that'll be good for now. Very, very slow. Very, very slow. There we go. There's one. It might be one and a half. Oh, it's a tiny smallie. Tiny. Probably even smaller than the first one. Yeah, I'm not even close. Good picture. Ha, ah, let's go for a bigger guy. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm gonna kill the camera for a few, give my phone a break. Hopefully next will be an update with the fish, but we just haven't been able to get on them on them. But I'm assuming it's been really tough here that everybody hasn't gotten on them either, either, hopefully. But if they have, we're in trouble. We're way behind. I'm trying to be quiet on this rock wall, but I'm gonna go ahead and kick this off for a minute. Hopefully an update with the fish, either a keeper or a big one, hopefully. No small, no smallies, no small smallies. We will hit the river for smallies though. Here. Got some snacks, got something to drink. We're gonna head over to the next spot over here. We're really looking for another fish. I mean, we've got two that were too small to count, and then we had one that was a nice one, two and three quarters. No complaints there. We're gonna go over where I had a three pounder the other day and see if we can't maybe pull it. I think the one we pulled 
was the one we pulled the other day on the two and a quarter, three quarter. But, all right, I'm gonna head over. We're back. Update on the fish. Not too crazy. Barely the size that we need. Let's see what she's got here. Pound. One pound. We're back. We traveled a little bit. Even though you guys got to chill and sit where you're at and just go, bah, here we are, which is nice for you. It took me about 20 minutes to get over here. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to fish this river and try to pick up some big smallies, potential largemouth against the bank. But we have super deep water in the middle of the river and we've got rocky points and everything over here. Ba, 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 somewhere. And so we're going to hit that real quick and hit these two little logs. And I'll set you guys up for a second and watch me fish. Let's go. Nice thing about this depth of water is you can literally jig right under the boat. You don't have to do anything crazy. Light line and be quiet. For a second there, I thought they were just jumping ahead of me. Is there actually? Now they get at least one over 12 inches which would be about a pound and a half, pound and a quarter minimum for a smallie. Kind of a rocky point right here, so we're gonna really pick this out. Pick it apart, I guess. Right we already picked it out. That's a nice one, actually. Unless I hooked a log. Oh, no, 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 it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Hey, look at the tug on this thing. That would be a two. Two and a half would be beautiful. I don't think she's a three. But, oh, hell yeah, baby. Small bees, just like I wanted. That is what we wanted to see, baby. Heck yeah. Whew. That gives some confidence to this little secret spot here. Hopefully, we're kind of on something here a little bit. <clears throat> Look at that girl. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna scale. She fought like a two and a half. I think we can get a two, maybe two and a quarter. I don't think she's gonna ring up two and a half though. Two and a quarter. Well, yeah. Two five. Two four. Okay. Oh. Two and a quarter, baby. That is a very nice fish. 
let's go. Let's get one more. Oh, baby. Let's hope we're on something here. Ha! <sighs> All right, update. Ha, ah, 12 inch, one pound smallie. So that is one more pound on the board, everybody. It's officially halftime, and we got to pick up the pace here. I found a nice little hump where I'm gonna try to catch a couple more of these. This one was the first one on a small bite. So, we're, we're, we're probably gonna get some more. You guys can watch for a minute. Let me get you, get you guys all set here. There you go. Kind of have the hump mentally marked a little bit, so we're trying our darndest to hit between this tree and that bush. And if we can't find it, we'll go explore a little bit out there and poke our nose around and see if we can get something on the finder. You guys can see any of this, but it's like a hurricane of jet skis all of a sudden. We're deciding to maybe just stop the water up only where I'm at. That's fantastic. That's just fantastic. All right, everybody. It's officially the third quarter. We have not bagged another fish since I've seen you. So we are going to make the final move into the final lake, basically. And we're going to pick apart two major spots there and see if we can't get on at least fill up the bag we've got three keepers two more would be really nice pushes over 10 pounds might get us at least a third it's been really tough out here all season so let's hope everyone else is having as tough a time as i am but uh we'll see you guys in a minute just an update All right, everybody, this isn't an update. Well, it is an update, but the update is we have an hour left. And not doing so hot. We haven't been able to get on anything since the last fish you guys saw. So we're gonna hit this as hard as we can and hope that we can at least pull a couple more keepers out, even if they're a pound and a half. It's a tough day. I see people moving around a lot. So that leads me to believe that at least some people aren't catching. But, <clears throat> but I'll leave you guys on for a minute. Let's see what we can do. Closing in on that time, no fish update. Hopefully the next shot you see will be a fish update. If not, we're just gonna be closing it out. But, either way, see you in a sec. As you can see, not only did we not get an extra fish there, the weather has turned severely. So, we're headed back to the launch and we're gonna fish in the river for a minute there open for a last minute smallie so let's see if we can get that hopefully update if not it'll be me taking you guys out but uh enjoy all right we play sixth out of 15. i'll take it a lot of those boats under us skunked it's a long 10 hours of fishing when you skunk even if you love it in a tournament setting that's a long day so we are blessed to have been able to catch a couple fish and get on the board and at least, you know, do something. Without Christopher, it was really difficult. Um, normally he's my cleanup guy. He's got that Cinco ready to go. No cleanups, but to be perfectly fair, you know, there weren't a lot of cleanup situations now that I'm thinking about it. It was pretty cut and dry. We caught fish or we didn't. Um, 
it kind of was what it was. At least we put something on the board. I can sleep at night with that. But I just wanted to take you guys out here. Just a short little goodbye till next time. Um, the giveaway is active for four days. Like, comment, subscribe. Share if you will. That'd be awesome. Share me so I can give away more baits in the future to you guys. But that's it. Just got to remember now. Big baits, big bites, big luck. We'll see you next time.